the drug um, does reduce inflammation. It does reduce swelling. It does reduce proptosis. And those are all encouraging. The claims as to its improve, how it improves double vision are less, um, are less uh, uh, firm in that patients can sometimes have improvements in double vision, but they still have lasting double vision. So that's, you know, from my perspective, that is not a particularly helpful feature. Um, there are two things that, that trouble me and, and many of my colleagues in the field. Number one uh, is, that, is that there is a significant risk of hearing loss. In addition to other concerns of, of hair loss in, in younger women, uh, infertility, at least that's temporary, there, there are and muscle aches, but hearing loss that occurs in at least 10% of patients, that number is higher amongst those who are older or pre have pre-existing hearing loss. And this hearing loss is permanent. Uh, so you need to wear a hearing aid if you, if you are suffering this problem. Just had a lady in the office that I saw in second opinion yesterday. So that's one big problem um, and there are reasons for it. And then the, the second one, which is uh, probably even more troubling to me is that the relapse rate, the recurrence rate of all of the symptoms, sometimes worse than the first round will uh, exceed 50%. So even if a patient is encouraged by the benefits of their, of, their side, of their treatments and they don't have side effects that are disabling or permanent, they have a 50% chance of relapse. And that's actually even a more complicated problem because it doesn't happen immediately after the drug is stopped as occurs with prednisone. You know, you give patient prednisone, the swelling goes down, you take the prednisone away within two weeks. If there's going to be a relapse, you'll see it. But in this case, the, the relapse can occur most commonly between six months and a year, sometimes a year and a half. So for those patients who are, who are awaiting rehabilitative surgery after their tapeza, because they still have double vision, they still have bulging, they still have lid retraction. That's the challenge. Do you choose to operate at six months, a year, or a year and a half? No one really knows the answer to that question, and we're looking into it. Unfortunately, this is a delay in trying to get to the treatment that this patient needs.